Attention gamers, previously on my therapist's recommendation to escape the pain that comes from playing League of Legends every day by playing a 20-year-old buggy game with a Ouch. bunch of internet famous e-boys and girls, I enslaved a pig as my pet who immediately abandoned me so I got a second with a new parenting style focused around tough love. Yep. I wasted way too much Kill time trying to teach him new skills and then I wasted more hours learning how big this fantasy world of it's Azeroth big. really is and how long it takes to travel. I speed- Isn't that like that, dude? Sometimes I think about how good Classic WoW is. I just lay in bed, I think about it. Leveled at one-tenth the speed of the big-time famous WoW players in the guild yeah. who ignored me when I tried to make a good first impression by telling them jokes. I gained some street cred in Goldshire by teabagging a rebellious rabbit named Hogger and then I challenged the most deadly mob in all of WoW to a butt-naked bear knuckle Makara to which I was successful and claimed the title of biggest badass in Azeroth. I actually think that this guy's really good. I think he'll make it to 60 no problem. I quickly because, like, the people that are really bad at the game are the people that only play WoW. Like, if there's a person who only plays WoW, they're probably fucking garbage. They have no idea how the game works. Because, like, I've noticed this playing other games. Other games, you have to actually pay attention sometimes. In World of Warcraft, you can basically just be a zombie. Started to realize the consequences of my new title. For starters, Howard's cousins mm -hmm. were starting to act jealous of him being adopted by such a big dick swinger. I had to remind him that barking bitches get stitches and the Ooh. only thing they will ever amount to is having their livers used in a pie oh, baked yeah. by some farm hoe named after Salmonella. <laughs> I too was getting more attention as everyone wanted to take down the new king of Westfall and after seeing all the bullshit ways people are actually being killed during duels and clips, I was- Oh, Mitch killed somebody in a mock raw? I don't even remember that. Clips. I wasn't about to trust this fully world buff level 12. Yeah. Even if she was a little fan, maybe be a big fan and subscribe to the channel What's Miss the Chillower. Here? Anyways, I quickly learned from a man who doesn't know how to pronounce Defias. The Defias front is constantly what an shifting. Idiot, that bro. my recent victory took a bloody shit on the reputation of the biggest gang in Westfall and oh, now we shit. were in a full-blown gang war. Many members of the gang can be tracked by the red leather bandanas they wear. This Damn. was music to my ears as I had no problem big dick strutting into their shitty barns and demanding they Listen give me their fucks. bandanas. Howard however was iffy on messing with a gang. Oh my god. But I reminded him where he'd be without me we busted that joint and I was ready to start collecting my prizes. Naturally. But this particular mission wasn't all rain. I'm gonna tell you guys that if hardcore is still popping off after season of mastery, I will make a hunter and I will solo every single quest in the game. Every single quest. No dungeons, doing every quest. Bows and shower sex, no. We had our fair That's share of plan. casualties as I ran into one of Gandalf's testicles who was fatally be wounded. Easy. He was laying there, bleeding out, still barely connected to the world as I demanded answers. His oh so poetic famous last words, 555. Five, five, will be remembered and I vowed to avenge this dyslexic <laughs> leprechaun's life and raid the panty drawers of the dead bitches I've killed. Invent I love how whenever you see that, because you know that's what- that was probably like his Frost Nova, you know? He had Frost Nova on five. Today is full. The initial plan was to be merciful and execute a quick and painless genocide of their ranks, but after seeing how they just left Odin, MMNN to bleed out was enough to spark my villain arc. Yeah. The humane ways of killing gang members was over. I would set fire traps and lure these COVID-aware dagger douchebags oh, into them, laughing at them while they slowly burned to death until I gathered every last bandana only to be thanked in the most generic way ever. Nice work, person. But more work was to be done. They sent me to a seemingly abandoned town to slaughter Ooh. some of their civilians and I Ooh. thought everyone had fled due to the war but as I was about to check the local pub I heard the pillagers. whispers. Turns out a surprise party featuring my own funeral was planned and I wasn't about to RSVP yes with my plus one to that. Psych bitches 360 no scoped my way into that bad decision almost got myself killed for the sake oh of this God. clip but it all worked out. It was at this- well, He 3 v one them? It was no big deal? God damn, that's impressive! This time where my guildies said there's proverbial cake in the break room which in this case meant world buffs on a roof yeah. which was dank as I got to meet the fellas in person and they gave me a bunch of buffs that mm -hmm. made me run faster, attack oh, wow. harder and turn into Keanu Reeves. At this point Grian wanted me to waste the next 30 minutes of my life walking to a random town and oh, I was about to tell Red him Ridge. to fuck off until he said this. There is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. And the curiosity of why this grown man owed him was enough for me to get that mm -hmm. cardio session in. I met one-eyed Willie and he told me the whole backstory. Wiley. A random lady overheard and even she was shocked to hear Grian was into that stuff.
Anyways it turns out you can't visit a small incest ridden town as Keanu Reeves and not be asked to do a few heroic things for them. Ooh, a little boy a named Sean said his area. girlfriend would let him get to second base with her if he found her Taylor Swift bracelet in the lake so of course I had to wingman the little horn dog out. Except he lacked a bit in the Riz department when he had me be the one to give it to her. Yeah, but true. hey at least someone in town was trying to make moves. You have a sturdy pair on you. So if you're interested Then some call girl said her fat ass husband left his lunch at home and now I was gonna be his Uber Eats <laughs> To which he was like give that bitch some flowers for me and I'm thinking I already helped a tween perv touch his first tit You can fix your own marriage dude so I went back to Westfall with the gang information That's I smart bro like level uh like he's a little bit he's a little bit low level for for Red Ridge I would say Got from the guy who went yeah. blind from getting Brian's jizz in his eye at TwitchCon Edwin Van Cleef was our target and he said dank now I need you to waste an extraordinary long amount of time on the dumbest bullshit mm -hmm. quest ever where you mug a dude on his morning oh, walk which bro, could be anywhere in this entire messenger. zip code and after yeah. three short eternities I found him. There he is, Turns just out my time is about as valuable as a screen door on a submarine to our TwitchCon pervert grind as he didn't even need that messenger mm -hmm. when they got all the info they needed from some dude that got fed up with politics preventing his promotions in the Defias gang so now he was gonna agree to show me and Howard where his boss man's secret little bitch hideout was, and thus my final orders were given. Damn. Edwin Van Cleef must be assassinated. Oh, is he gonna do dead minds? Now a few things needed to happen before I could take down this gang leader Van Queef guy. First I had to wait for my 20th birthday. Nice. This meant I could learn new party tricks like Aspect of the Cheetah which is quite possibly the best ability in the game. It For is. example let's say you are alone in a bar thinking about what it would be like to not be an alcoholic when a certified baddie sends you this. You get up. Wave to the guys that you single-handedly keep employed and then... Oh, wow! I'm fast as fuck, boy! Jesus Christ. I'm fast as fuck, boy! Except when you get there she's actually not alone and there's also a fucking child and Chris Hansen is there in a hat. Oh, God. Oh god. The second thing I needed was a group as Vanderqueef Cakes hangs out in a dungeon which meant we would need more people but we ran into a logistical issue. I can't find a tank. Oh no. Oh god. Not him. But uh, would you mind if we did four, four DPS and a healer? What? Now a little while. No wonder he dies all the time. 101 for the viewers who have actually had sex before. Uh -huh. In World of Warcraft, dungeons typically require one guy to take Naturally, the hits, yes. one guy to heal the hits, and three guys to deliver the hits but in this case we couldn't find yep. the most important guy so winging it was the suggestion but considering this is hardcore wow and Papa Soda would be mad if we died doing something dumb like this there was only one appropriate response. <laughs> Rav says, let's fucking send it. Whoa, wait, what did he say? I can't find a tank, but would you mind if we did four DPS and a healer? I'll tank VC and green skin since I'm a high level and I can evasion. And then he says, let's fucking send it. Let's fucking send it, baby. We greet each other like killer ninjas. He pets Howard. We zone it. To be it. fair, I mean, like level 25 should be able to tank it. No problem. Even though he's a rogue. And prepare ourselves for what will undoubtedly like, be the be hardest fine. thing we've ever done. Yeah, he's well, level kind 25, of. man. The Defias pussies kept sending more and more gang members to stop Damn. us, but we eventually made it to a shitty Titanic replica that a bunch of goblins were building inside. Hey, 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 it's, it's not shitty. This is one of the greatest dungeons ever, all right? This is, it's like, I, I remember doing this in high school, all right? This is a good time. Giant cave until all that was left was us. Shut up. And Eddie. And may challenge the brotherhood. There it is. Okay, good. Look at that. He, look at that. He's killing the ads. He's also got Rallying Cry of the Battlemaster, so that makes him do way more damage. He's not even attacking the ads anymore. He says, fuck that. Wow. He fell with ease as he was no what match a to our bitch. five gamers hyped up on Power Gum, and as I approached his dead corpse, knowing that I just ended the entire gang war mm -hmm. that was started from me naked bare knuckle brawling one of his peons, I would take his head back as a sign of my victory. I can't carry anymore. Jesus, bro. Like, this guy just needs to beg for some bags. Like, does it, this guy should join Roach out. Like, if he wants to actually learn how to play the game the real way, just join our guild. And, and we'll, we'll teach you everything you need to know. I'd like to thank the brave soldiers for their help in that mission tonight to mm. give only Fangs their first big Damn. victory in Azeroth, sending the world of Warcraft 
and all of its pussy NPC gangs a message that this guild, full of legitimate morons, will one day conquer all. I just think it's so funny how they think they're gonna raid. Isn't that funny to me? Isn't that funny, you guys? Like, they actually think that they're gonna raid. It's just so fucking funny. If I die, I have to go back to League of Legends. Well, that's a big motivator, isn't it? Yeah, there's no way this guy's gonna die now. Attention gamers. Previously on my 12-step program to find joy again through video Damn. games by taking breaks from being told to buy nooses on Amazon from Ooh. league players to make the best hardcore WoW documentary series in the Eastern Kingdoms I got in a naked slap battle with a dagger douche which sparked a historically large gang war. I became the biggest hitman in Westfall killing every last red bandana little bitch until one finally showed me where I could find their leader. I teamed up with my first guildy for a covert group operation to enter the dead mines and take down the leader of their cute little book club which was a great success and the first step toward putting only fangs on the map. Turns out our triumph in the dead mines was followed by some dark times for the guild. Some of us were finding out the hard way that they aren't the only thing who can summon slaves to do their slaughtering. Others were learning that if something casts a single spell for 12 seconds it's probably not gonna feel nice when it comes out. Ooh, young dead. Jeffy learned that Horde City Guards will attack Wait, you- Wait, Young Jeff died? Oh no! Bro, where are these guys- why are these guys dying? From bumfuck Egypt and then others who had add-ons making their mini-map look dank and their action bars look like God, a lost stop. and found table seemingly forgot to make use of the most important add-on. Wait. Their eyeballs. And I think the realities of Hardcore WoW was taking its toll on the well-being of the guild. Oh god. This resulted in... Their eyeballs, and I think the realities of Hardcore WoW was taking its toll on the well-being of the guild. This resulted in an it's emergency good. meeting where we all got called into the principal's office to hear this. Oh shit. How many people have died? in the past day do you guys even give a f howard was struggling as well you see after news got out that he attended you the see like you just have to you have to motivate people the right way like if see like nobody in my guild dies nobody like we never have people die in my guild van cleef gang bang let's just say he was and absolute. if we do like as soon as somebody dies in our guild because we do but they're like always low level we never have high level players die in our guild we all call them losers we say rest and piss risk rip bozo and then everybody starts spamming get this loser out of here and then we kick them out of the guild before they can log off and we call them fucking trash for dying in the game drowning in pig puss but these westfall hogs clearly aren't tested just so he was is. having gonorrhea shits every few seconds yeah. like they were hiccups but with herpes yeah. i was starting to learn more about how the wow community behaves for example when someone has a tag on a quest mob you need they will either a ignore you because they are a chinese bot yeah that's or b, a chinese bot be total giga chad stop their kill in the middle of the fight cc the barney yeah. cosplaying murloc while they remember how to invite other people to their little murder date so you can get credit and i think these are the people who should be recognized Those are anyways some nice our dudes. fearless guild leader decided to reward me for not dying Ooh, by making my weapon, weapon look like a flaming hot cheetos kebab oh, and wow. even though as a hunter this effectively would do nothing for me the style points had me treating every fight like i was recording flashy kills for a halo 2 montage Ooh, i did that Damn, I had some he loose got the ends to tie too. up in the Fifty Shades of Grey Forest starting with the genocide of these thugs who had a fetish for saying weird shit as you killed them. Mommy. But in reality... What? I was there to apparently grow old and die wondering how the hell to Why? do this quest I was on. I euthanized at least two baker dozen of those shitters my mini map looks like Ew. the grammar police had a group orgy Ew. on it. Looking into this bowl wasn't exactly helpful. What does it do? And these books were trying to wasn't exactly helpful. How hard I should get. And these books. Books were trying to grab a handful of dwarf dick every time I walked by. Okay. What the fuck? I decided to just move on an uneducated man and challenge myself to what my guide warned me was a quest that is too hard to solo. This quest is very difficult. Oh shit. And I soon found out that's because it's almost impossible to not die. Of boredom watching this short King Joe Biden just walk around in circles trying to remember his own name for 20 minutes <laughs> looking for some old pelvis bone only to remember he left it at his side hose house. Bruh. 
I gave him the name of a dementia medicine and decided I had about enough of Dark oh Shore and onto a city named Astronar. Sleepy Emphasis Joe. on the ass. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. But I was here for one thing and that was to help my homeboy cure his bitch of some crippling STD he gave oh, her. Oh, I remember this quest. The initial gamer fuel we tried didn't seem to do shit so he had me go to a little swamp yeah. island to pick up a glowing Godzilla Tic Tac. I'm not sure why the horn dog thought this would work but here is where I also learned this was a daughter-father relationship which makes this whole situation a bit strange but yeah. if he's gonna be loyal to one hoe in a town that is just crawling with local talent I guess True. I can look past incest and go pick some sparkling pond pubes for us to try. That didn't do shit for the entitled the host so I was like sorry Mr. White Moon your weird quasi illegal sexy stepdaughter or kink you had going on is just gonna have to stay on pause as I gave them the yeah, doctor yeah, disrespect so. proverbial I firm handshake it. and peaced out of there. You see I booked a carnival cruise back to the other continent <laughs> instead where I generously handed out some high level hunter tips to a normie. I made a quick You know what the funny thing is? I bet that guy probably didn't know that. Because one thing that I've learned about Classic WoW is that most of the people that play it, the hunter, the pet is smarter than the hunter. Because like at least the pet can like respond to aggro and like follow command attacks, like taunt, stuff like that. Yeah. I would say like hunter pets are like middle of the pack in terms of intelligence and hardcore wow. Stop in Pearl Harbor because some drunk shit stain who survived the Titanic was Ooh. in town telling his story and I wanted to know if Rose's ass was as dank as it was in the movie but all he would say was I'll need a fresh drink if I'm to get a handle on this hangover. Oh my God. And as someone who attended at least one year of college I knew just how to fix that situation. Yeah. It was around this time where I think I survived my first assassination attempt. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now I want to note that if you ever see someone struggling out in the world because some giant terrifying pew bush of algae whose favorite game is apparently peekaboo wanted you to euthanize a bunch of ratchet rabbits, the best thing to do is run up there and give her some emotional support. Yes, you could help, but you know how the saying goes by a man a fish he eats for a day. Let a rogue die from over pulling their role of priest when they go again. But the Dude, I'm going to be honest. I, I just, I will never get tired of watching people die because I know how long it takes to level up. And the fact that I know how long it takes and that all of their time is getting wasted makes it feel so fucking good. I'm sorry. The whole part of this trip and the reason I had to leave my incest fetish homie so urgently was to visit this make-a-wish city that I stopped by in as Keanu Reeves last episode yeah. because Howard was starting to look a bit dated. Like he was in dire need of the latest oh. iOS update. So we agreed to me getting a hall pass if it meant me teaching him new tricks and I knew exactly who I wanted to use it on. Can get belly grub? Oh shit. I knew from using my toilet time by reading hardcore WoW forums that this particular pig doesn't fuck around so I thought- Belly grub is a killer. Played it pretty well dazing him and then putting the bacon over eyes to which Smart. he still came out and slapped me for half my health before eventually agreeing to be my bitch. Jesus. Bit. That's a big boy. I was starting to worry I would enjoy having such a powerful pig too much. I bet belly grub is probably in the top 50, like most dangerous NPCs in the game. And that a tough He's probably ahead of Nefarian. Conversation was in store. Psych I named this smelly bastard Lil Slave and tried <laughs> everything in my power to get his ass killed only for Blizzard's buggy ass code to make everything attack me instead. The second oh I got what God. I needed from him I commanded him to run in the lake and drown himself. I work. reunited with Howard held up on my end of the deal uh -huh. and guiltily told him about my infidelity. Oh. I could see the look in his eyes and even though I didn't agree, I knew this was something he had to do. You gonna kill him? Oh god. Jesus Christ. Until some fucking good Samaritan decided to come and completely shit on Howard's glory. <laughs> but we all know who would have won that fight, right guys? Yeah, Belly but Grub Howard's revenge won. aside, it was a big day Belly for Grub us 100%. as we had to attend our first streamer guild meeting. What the fuck is this? I was excited to be a part of such an elite group until the meeting Wait, is this the way that they do guild meetings there? Well, where's all the random jumping around level ones opening up trade? Is this like a normal guild? What the, the hell? Three hours of mind numbing yelling mainly coming from some guy named Russell, so I had to outplay that mechanic and then try yeah, to sneak problem out. problem solved. But Smart. Howard's growing fame had me busted and I wasn't going to deny him pets from this Close chick doors. so I went back and learned my lesson and never tried to sneak out of that meeting again. A few oh god. A few moments later. We might what? have to get out of here. 
You know, I'm really upset about we my whole pizza party here. Friday thing. I Didn't don't care, Sheer. Wow, that is entirely unacceptable behavior. Zarbarian? Oh, like, good I'm one. having such a bad day. Like, I swear out the Rav's out but, here, too. You know, like, uh, Rav's vibing, dude. But in my defense, it's because I heard Papa Soda say this. Uh, and target dummies are required from now on. So I spent the rest of the meeting leveling my engineering and considering I started that ear bludgeoning experience where I had to apologize to my headphones afterwards. I came out of it with some dank ass shades. Oh, I should level up my engineering. Plus engineering turned out to be the bee's knees considering on deadly four packs after I nuked <laughs> the little gray ball sack in the back I can hit a fat AOE wombo combo with my man-made dynamite Jesus. straight Hiroshima style. And since oh, this God. is just a wow pro tips channel full of info that pussy boy yeah, would to never know that. here's another one. When you are running past a class who can give buffs, turning around to help them kill their mob will psychologically outplay them into give giving you, you their buffs yeah. without even having to ask. It works every time for example yep. I wanted this mage's intellect buff easy goddamn peasy just help him nuke that bird and voila you And if you stand in front of them and jump, that's also another thing that will trigger the AI into giving you a buff. Your buff. You have to jump. You have to jump or he won't get it. Buff me, you asshole. <laughs> Anyways, it was time for me it. to lose my Duskwood virginity, which in this case meant having to turn the brightness on my screen just about to max settings so I could see more than 10 feet in front of me. Uh -huh. Turns out Fitch's BFF is now a hermit who needs help wiping his own ass, not to mention Joe Biden's speechwriter lives out here. I can't escape them. Monsters in Raven Hill, n n and oh, couldn't be only harmless jitters. I quickly learned that while in the US you drive legs. on the right side of the road and in some EU countries you get the left side of the road but in Duskwood you stay the fuck off the road entirely because of a big walking Godzilla sperm cell named Stitches who kills more World of Warcraft gamers than the concept of loneliness itself. He is so deadly that one of the four hardcore servers was literally named after him and you can always tell when he's around because you'll walk by some bitch and notice she stopped and turned around to see what happens to you and that's when you should immediately know that the patrolling jizz rag is close. I've never been killed by stitches. I'm gonna be honest, I have never been killed by stitches, it's never happened. Not yet at least. And while me and Howard might not be the heroes that Darkshire wants, tonight, we would be the heroes that they He's need. He's gonna fight it? Oh. To be fair, though, like... Atten hold up. Like, to be fair, he can beat it because he can outrun Stitches with Aspect of Cheetah. One more? Oh, we'll watch more tomorrow, guys. It's not like we aren't gonna watch any more of these. I'll link you, uh... I think doing two at a time is a good, uh... It's a good amount. I'll link it to you guys right now. These videos are amazing. Make sure to give him a like. I hope he continues this uh, this thing. What level is Rav right now? 55. So he's going to hit 60 probably in the next like couple of days.